okay today we will discuss the uh, module number 3 chapter number 1 that is measurement of screw threads so in this chapter we will discuss the how to measure the effective diameter and how to measure the pitch di effect or pitch diameter or uh, uh, measurement of the inner threads that is uh, in uh, and also the what are the terminologies of the screw threads and how to measure the uh, pitch measuring what are the pitch measuring devices that we, that and all we will go through this chapter number 1 model number 3 so in the, in, the, in this regard uh, first we will discuss the what is the main just i will uh, go through the brief introduction regarding the uh, screw threads so initially we know that the screw threads is having the two main function so one is what uh, the first main function is so power and the mo uh, motion power and motion transmission power and the motion transmission that is the one basic one power and the motion transmission and another, another function is it acts as a fastener that is these are the two main functions of the screw threads so one is what the power and the motion transmission and another one another main function is what it acts as a fastener so and the second function is more important hence we will we will be more concerned concerned with the v form of threads so uh, second one will be the more important hence we are considering with the v form of threads <clears throat> now the screw threads have a complicated geometry uh, which must be clearly understood before studying its measurement so as we know that it is a complicated uh, geometry that we'll go, th go through it while uh, de uh, deriving the effective diameters with respect to external and the internal threads so uh, if the screw thread is formed on a cylinder it is called as what straight or parallel screw threads it is formed on a it is a uh, formed on a cylinder we can uh, we can call it, uh, it is called it as a straight or parallel screw straight or a parallel screw and it is similarly it is uh, it is formed on a cone then it is known as tapered screw if it, it is formed on a cone then we can call it as a what tapered screw threads screw thread if it is formed on a cylinder we can call it as a straight or parallel screw thread if it is formed on a cone we can call it as a tapered screw thread so in common thing in all the type of threads it uh, threads is the standardization of all its dimension in terms of pitch if the value of pitch is known then all the dimensions of the thread can be found if the dimensions uh, and then we'll go through go through the finding of the pitch diameter later in the later videos yeah, if the value of the pitch is known then all the dimension of the thread can be easily found this is uh, about the brief introduction of the measurement of uh, uh, that is the screw threads related to the screw thread one is that it is based on two main function one is power and the motion trans power and power and motion transmission one is that is one main function another one it acts as a fastener and the, it is a complete has a complicated geometry and it, it must be clearly understood before studying its measurement so that is very important and another one if the uh, uh, if the screw thread is formed on a cylinder we can call it as what straight or parallel screw uh, threads if it is formed on a cone it is called as a tapered screw thread and uh, finally if the value of the pitch is known then all the dimensions of the thread can be formed now we will go on to the another next topic that is terminology terminologies of the screw thread so in this uh, uh, terminology of the screw thread we have taken one two uh, two uh, two type of thread one is what external thread and the internal thread just i will uh, mention it the i will just i will show the how to mention the uh, this one terminologies in, in the external this one we can call as what external one and we can here we can call as a, uh, this figure related to the internal thread as mentioned now initially first uh, we have to mention the effective diameter so just i will show it out this is what the effective diameter effective diameter and this one from top from top to here we can call as a crest that we can call as a what major diameter that is major diameter this one top we can call as a what crest here the here the surface we are here some this portion this portion we can call as a what flank flank and 
this one will be the if the from crest to top crest to the bottom crest will be the major diameter means inner one inner part from here from here to here we can call it as a what minor diameter so these two from here to here the angle forming of the thread we can call it as a what thread angle thread angle so in and also this we, this one path inside one this one portion we can call as a flank and here this portion we can call as a what root as a root and uh, the angle here we have shown it as a flank right if, uh, if it is with respect to the this one for example if this is the angle if the slant if the flank with respect to the root center like that this angle we can call it as a what flank angle flank angle and thread depth here we can show the thread depth thread depth so once again i will tell you here we here we are having n number of teeth right if the three uh, sorry uh, teeth top will be the what crest and the slant here with this portion we can call it as a flank and this portion we can call it as a root here inside one roots the root to the flank the angle between these two from the root to the root center this teeth center with respect to the angle measured we can call it as a what flank angle and this one is a root and this one one thread each thread we can we can call it as a thread angle inside thread in inner diameter here this one to the this inner to the inner we can call it as a minor diameter and from crest to the top crest we can call it as a major diameter in between major and the minor we have mentioned one effective diameter that is called as a pitch diameter so this is about the external thread uh, terminologies just uh, again once again i will briefly tell you the what is a major minor what is a crest or what is meant by root and what is meant by helix angle what is meant by thread angle what is meant by flank angle uh, after showing the the terminologies of the internal threads again you can we can easily thread uh, you can easily tell it as a thread angle thread angle and also as as shown in the in the external thread inside one will be the minor diameter and this one we can call as a root and this one we can call as a flank this one we can call as a crest all this top all this we can call as a flanks and this one we can call as a what root and effective dia in between major and the minor dia we are having a effective dia and the major dia this one top inside one with respect to the inside we can call as a what major dia so this is about the terminal the this one uh, dimensions and uh, whatever uh, mentioning of the uh, <coughs> elements of the uh, screw threads of the external thread and the internal thread now i will tell you briefly explain the, just i will uh, explain the what is meant by the major th major diameter as we shown in the figure the major dia is what it's a diameter of the major cylinder coaxial with a screw which touch, uh, which uh, touch just touch the crest of an external thread or a root from external thread of crest uh, to the this crest we can call as a what a external diameter nothing but a, we just uh, which just uh, touch the crest of an external thread or a root of an internal thread it is also called as external diameter or else nominal diameter or full diameter of a uh, external threads <coughs> hence we, if, if it is with respect to the minor diameter if it is with respect to the minor dia again it is also a coaxial with a screw which just touch the root of an external thread or crest here external thread or root here here external thread or a root we are uh, external thread or root here external thread or crest of an internal thread of an internal thread there is a main difference between the major dia and the minor dia here external thread <coughs> or root of an internal thread 
here this is the difference and root or crest this is very important for major dia and minor dia okay it is a diameter of a minor cylinder or else imaginary cylinder whatever it may be coaxial with a screw which just touch the root of an external thread or crest here it is just a, it will just touch the crest of an external thread or a root of an internal thread here we can uh, here it is also we just uh, uh, touch the root of an external thread or a crest of an internal thread it is the smallest diameter of the external screw thread we can call it as a what it is also called as what core it is also called as core root or internal diameter of an internal diameter for external threads for external threads so this is about the major and the minor diameter then another terminology is what axis of the screw axis of the screw it is an imaginary line okay it is an imaginary line running longitudinally through the center of the screw if this is the screw means the center we can call as a what axis here the center we can call as axis of the screw uh, then that is that is meant by the uh, that is the axis of the screw then effective or pitch diameter okay effective or effective or pitch diameter it is the diameter of an imaginary circle representing the line of contact between the mating threads it is a line of contact between the mating threads mating threads means one one thread along with the another one thread here the both should be if it is both should be mating that center we can call as a what that contact between the that line the, the line of contact we can call as a what uh, effective diameter or else uh, pitch diameter so for external threads the pitch diameter is equal to the major diameter minus the depth of the one thread that we will uh, discuss that uh, that will derivation is there in that derivation part we will i will explain it later then another one terminology that is pitch of the screw pitch of the screw here in the pitch of the screw it is a distance measured parallel to the axis of the screw from a point on one thread to the corresponding point of the adjacent thread so here pitch diameter that is effective diameter here from <coughs> it's a distance measured parallel to the axis of the screw the screw from one a point of the thread to the corresponding point that the adjacent thread that we can call as a what pitch then another the next of the lead of the screw lead of screw uh, it is a distance measured parallel to the axis of the screw which the which the nut will uh, nut will advance in one revolution of the screw or the screw will advance in one rotation of the nut that is the lead of the screw that we can call as a, that is also one terminology it is very important it is a product of pitch and the number of starts of the screw uh, so if you want to find out the lead of the screw means it is a product of the pitch and the number of the starts of screw the, this is about the terminal uh, one of the terminology that is a lead of the screw and another one and the next type crest or root crest and root sorry crest and root crest i already shown in the figure this one top will be the crest thread top will be the crest and the root will be the here inside one inside part of the uh, this one teeth we can call as a root and above the top we can call as a crest so crest is the prominent part of the thread that is top of the surface which join the two sides of the external screw thread whereas the similarly in the root uh, it is the bottom groove between the it is a bottom um, groove between the sides of the two edges and is a bottom groove we are we are telling this is a bottom groove you can call it as a root and the next one uh, we, uh, next terminology that is lead or helix angle L lead or helix angle lead angle or helix angle it is angle made by the helix of thread uh, with a plane perpendicular to the axis of the screw uh, then uh, <coughs> and the next terminology that is thread angle thread angle and another one is flank angle thread angle and the flank angle and the and, and the last another one terminology we have left it with a multiple start thread and the right and the left hand screw 
that we will discuss later so these are the 10 terminologies related to the flank angle it is the angle between the individual flank and the perpendicular to the axis so individual flank and the perpendicular to the uh, and per perpendicular to the axis of the thread it is measured it in a axial plane then this is the flank angle here it is in, inside the root and this one this one we can call as a flank angle so this is about the terminologies of the screw threads one is major diameter another one is minor diameter and another one axis of the screw and another one effective or pitch diameter and pitch of the screw lead of the screw crust and root lead or helix angle thread angle and the flank angle and remaining two terminologies is there that is multiple start thread that we can lead is equal to number of start into pitch that is for the single start thread and the double start thread and another one is what right and the left hand screw then depending on the rotation of the screw and the advancement uh, based on that we will tell you the what 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 is meant by the right hand screw and the left hand screw this is about the terminologies of the screw threads okay thank you